<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drive. Today we are at this beautiful location with a beautiful looking car and it's Jaguar's benchmark, the Jaguar F-Type R dynamic convertible with a big supercharged V8 engine. But before we start the review, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like our stuff, go to Instagram, go to TikTok, follow us there. Let's start the review. My mission today is to show you and explain to you why Jaguar is actually a super cool car that you should consider buying, especially when talking about this beautiful looking piece of convertible design and the benchmark of Jaguar, we have to start talking about the front. So Jaguar typically since 2010 have a beautiful face up, a markup, a redesign of they're beautiful looking cars. So back in the day, they were really retro designed and they were a little bit old style, old fashioned, but this one, it displays what Jaguar can do. And I really think it looks brilliant. So this is the facelift version. The first one came out in 2014. It had very large headlights that were placed about here, even cutting into the bonnet. Now we have those narrow headlights that make it just more aggressive, that actually make it look more like a Puma, a Jaguar. In my perspective, I love it. I love to compare it with a Jack. Then of course, the big black grille, typical Jaguar face openings down there to let the air travel through to cool the engine. Even at the sides here, air travels through, goes around, cools the brakes, and leads the air outside of the tire in the front going back. Just beautiful, beautiful design. A large bonnet, an aluminum body. And we have to say the car is quite heavy, I have to admit, 1,950 kilograms for this beautiful machine. But it's an all-wheel drive system. It has a lot of horsepower and we're gonna talk about that later. Then of course you come to the back, beautiful taillights. Such a mean face at the back, really, really nice to look at. Of course, the four exhaust pipes. And that is the main thing, the most favorite thing on this Jaguar. Champagne golden in an upward position. Here, this diffuser that pushes the car a little bit more down. It looks just so brutal. And let me tell you, every shift sounds like a pistol shot. And they're as big as my fist. Green is a color, especially this British green, that is supposed to trigger a little bit of envy. And it's the perfect color for this car because everyone is going to be jealous of you driving this beautiful piece of car. I absolutely love it. My most favorite part to talk about is of course the engine and you reveal it in the opposite direction. Presentation, look at that. Five liter V8 hiding behind this clamshell bonnet. 575 horsepower, 700 newton meters of torque, accelerates the car from zero to 100 in 3.7 seconds, tops out at 300 kph, electronically limited. And if you hear that supercharger whistle, it is such a beautiful sound combined with what is coming out out of the exhaust pipes. But when you have such a brutal and brilliant engine, you have to have some good brakes and tires. So at the front, we have a 20 inch wheel, 265 in width and a 380 millimeter brake disc. At the back, 305 wheel in width, 20 inch with a 376 millimeter brake disc. All wheel drive, it needs to have great brakes. What else do you want me to say? Since this isn't convertible, we have to talk about how fast the roof is opening. So for that, get inside of the car, press the start button, and now it should open in 11 seconds. Not yet, not yet. That was it. Welcome to the interior of this beautiful Jaguar F-Type R Dynamic Convertible. So the outside looks very nice with the British Racing Green color. We have to match that with a beautiful inside color combination. So now we have this ebony tan colored seats, which means it has a brown middle part and black outer part. Then we have a black pack, which means we have black elements 
all around the car black part in the middle black steering wheel everything is blacked out beautiful beautiful color combination the abony tent does something very nice also we have this brownish stitchings covering all the nice parts at the side at the door door panels here very nicely made then we have something that is called Lextech so for example the front part here the dashboard has Lextech as a material it is a leather imitation so it's not that premium to be honest I don't understand why they didn't put just leather parts over that because this car has a starting price of 160,000 Swiss francs. The facelift just has a digital speedometer in the middle that shows you all the information necessary. You have a multifunction touchscreen system in the middle that really feels outdated. Although you have Apple CarPlay, the resolution is not that high. I think what they did with the iPace was much better. We have, of course, fully adjustable seats, front, back. You just have some charging ports here where the armrest is, USB-A actually, and a 12 volt charging port if you want to have some extra chargers, plus a micro SIM in the middle. Two cup holders and that's it. That's everything you need in a Roadster, all right? Let's take it for a drive. Welcome to the driver's experience of a Jaguar F-Type Dynamic R, which means we are driving the convertible Jaguar F-Type with the highest power. So it's a little bit difficult, the new name convention, because this one is called the Jaguar F-Type R Dynamic, which means a convertible. Plus, it is the 575P, which means we have the 5 liter compressor supercharged V8 engine after 3,500 RPMs. Oh my God, the sound gets even it opens the valves and the sound gets so brutal listen to that the pops and bangs on this thing it's literally like a lion or in that case i should say like a jaguar like a puma it's really perfect for a mountain drive and that's where you should use this car you should use it on a mountain you should enjoy it Oh! <laughs> Every shift. Oh, it's so brutal, it's so brutal. It's brutal and brilliant. This is really, really something else. Second gear, hairpin coming up. Ooh, turn in and then accelerate out. All-wheel drive system works perfectly fine. Next gear in, wow, just turn, beautiful. And again, this has a different vibe, you know? It's really, it's really a vibe where you can say, okay, I wanna drive as fast as I can. It's not going to be the fastest for every sports car around, but it's going to be plenty fast for you to enjoy a sporty and good drive. And this is, this is just brilliant. And I really love the fact that they, that they provide you a car, a five liter V8 supercharged in 2021. All right, friends. So we have to open the roof now. I really do want to experience what happens when I open the roof on that incredible road. The all-wheel drive system kind of gives me oversteer at some strange points. Ow! Ow! Listen to that! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Baby! Listen to that! Oh! <laughs> With open roof and just pounding it uphill, I really do understand. The whole point of this car is just the experience. It's really not to be the fastest one. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> it doesn't give me the feedback on the steering wheel that a 911 would give you. And to be honest, it doesn't give, even give me the feedback that an M3 competition would give me. It isn't the fastest sports car, but I don't care, man. I really don't care. I just want to drive. And for an automatic system, it's really fast how it shifts. <laughs> I gave myself a challenge today. I wanted to make Jaguar cool again. I have a very big bond to Jaguar because my father used to own one when I was a child and the world was a beautiful place without any problems and I didn't know about the evil force of the world. And it reminds me of this beautiful time where I was a child and now I'm sitting in an F-type and I'm just pounding it around some corners, man. Oh God. <laughs> it doesn't get more brutal than this really it really don't <laughs> oh, I feel like I, I feel like I'm riding a beast. I feel like I'm riding a lion, man. There's a lotus in front of us. Let's see what he can do against me. Are we gonna give it a try? Are we gonna give it a try? Woohoo! <laughs> Are we going to get it? That Lotus sounds insane. <laughs> it doesn't use that much fuel, maybe 12 liters, 12.8 12 12 liters on the normal drive. But of course, if you drive it like I was uh, a couple of seconds ago, it is going to be brutally insane. Absolutely love it. There's nothing else to do than say, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>